G'day guys, Fishing Straight here. Today I'm down on a stretch of the North Est River here in Tasmania. And today I'm going to be throwing little hard bodies. The water is a little bit shallower than I thought it would be. So I'm starting off with a 60 millimeter hawk sniper, but I reckon I'm gonna downgrade pretty shortly to a jazz lure or something around that. Fishing a beautiful section of water here. Just that nice shallow stuff that you love to fish. Not nice shallow fast flowing stuff that I love to fish. And um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna walk downstream a little bit more, jump in the river, and then hopefully be able to show you guys some Selmo Truta on in the hands. But anyway, see you guys on Maron. So guys, just a quick quick thing before we get in the video too. First of all, watch out. I'm fishing this right in summer. I'm in February right now um, for those later viewers. And this is just perfect snake territory. Like just a shrub or two here and there that they would hide in. So if you do plan to go fishing anywhere in summer months, just make sure you're watching out for snakes because here in Tazu, we have a lot of poisonous snakes. G'day guys, I'm down here at All Goods Outfitters Launceston and I'd just like to thank them for sponsoring this video as well as all of my other videos. All Woods Outfitters have a huge range of rods, reels, lures, plastics and all your outdoor clothing needs. So next time you're in Lonnie, make sure to come down to All Goods Outfitters on the corner of York Street and St John Street and see the friendly staff here while getting all you need for your next outdoor adventure. So they can continue to support me to make videos like this one. Also guys, only around 33% of you guys are subscribed. So make sure to subscribe as it's free and it really helps me out and enjoy the rest of this Fish and Shreya video. Well guys, I don't know about you, but I've walked enough and I've seen enough to want to throw a cast in here. So, Hawk Sniper from Hogwarts on Sesson is on and we're giving it the crack. Oh, that hurts. So somehow I've squashed my reel handle. So, that's not ideal. But oh uh, well, we'll get through. Don't don't worry. We'll push. We'll push through. Oh, trout just followed that in. Oh my god, really? Well, that's not something you expect to see every day you go fishing. I saw it flying past me, like it flew all the way down there, and I was like, oh, that's sort of cool, but not close enough to record, and then it just flies over the top of me. Fish on. No! My drag was so loose. Oh, oh my God. So obviously as I've had a look at my reel because my handle is broken, like look at that. I've knocked my drag off to mega loose and that was an all right fish, damn it. Fish on, do not come off. Okay, I can't whine for crap. Finally, finally. Oh, that took way, 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 way too long. You don't even understand. I've dropped that many fish, not because of these little jazz lures, because of this bloody reel. Um, so yeah, that was on, I'll, I'll just quickly not show you the fish. Well, there he goes, nice little Salmo true to brown trout there. So um, the lure I'm using here is a 
It's a 50 millimeter jazz lure that I got from All Goods Outfitters in Launceston. And it's just a nice green translucent color there. Very nice. Nice color. But yeah, um, well, I mean, what? That's about one out of five for the broken reel. Obviously, a couple of them could have just been hardly hooked, but I guess I'm not saying go break your handle. That's, that's what I'm sort of saying. Oh my God, that's a good fish. And I've got like no control over my reel. That's a good fish. Oh, I've, I think I have fair hooked him, but that is still a good fish. Come on. Oh, that is a nice fish. That is a nice fish on this jazz lure. Come on, in you come. In you come. In you come. It's not the huge, huge size I was thinking of, but it is a bloody solid fish. Wet my hands for him. The worst thing is he he's had a swipe at it and it's, he's. Because I can't really grab him because it's right in his side. So I'm just gonna sort of drag him up. No, 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 no. Come on, up you go. There you go, there we go. There we go, guys. <laughs> well. There you go, guys. Can you catch good fish with a broken reel? Apparently you can. Righto, so I'm just gonna, just gonna wet that sand and sit him there. Hey, 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 no, oh my God. Righto guys, so we got a quick little photo of the guy. He's a solid, very, very solid trout, that guy. Like, just well conditioned. Good fish on a broken reel. Is Launceston, like I say, your local supplier of them. Now he's not a big fish by any chance, but third round trout of the trip. And you can just sort of tell I'm starting to get the hang of this. Why would they never let me show you? 
I'm just starting to get the hang of this um, uh, broken reel tactic. Fish on, nice fish, nice fish. There we go, another one, that, that jazz lure from All Good Outfit, it's just killing it. Just look at that, he has chomped that. Oh, oh no. Don't you dare break off my lure. They're such a strong fish. Like, obviously, look at the territory he's in. Such fast flowing water. To be in this sort of, this is why I love fishing these sort of areas, because the fish in here are really good quality. Like this guy here, I'll just quickly give you a look at him and then we'll let him go. And the fish in here are strong. Like, he's just relaxing down there, but he's just disappeared now. But like, to live in a current like this, you have to be a very strong fish. And the other thing is there's not so much time. They don't get the time to inspect your lure and see that it's actually a bit of plastic. They, they see it and they eat it. They see a flash, they think it's a fish, they eat it where like in some slow streams, if you're in yeah, some slower areas, if you're just slow winding in or sitting a plastic on the bottom, they can come up and say, hold up, that's not real, goodbye. So yeah, just a quick tip on why I like to fish these sort of areas, but fourth, fifth for the day, fifth, fifth, fourth fish for the day, going good, you. Number five for the day. Starting to knock them over now. Ah, that was so close, I felt the lure. Please, can you just come undone? I don't particularly want to hook in me. A beautiful little fish there. I'll knock out that one and I'm just gonna let him go. I d oh my God. Are you joking? This poor guy. Oh, that came out. Come on, now get out the other one. <coughs> right, guys. Oh, why can I never show a single fish? I'm hopeless. I'm hopeless at YouTube. Oh my God. That's the fifth fish and I've seen, I've been able to show you like one. Oh my God. Oh well, another fish on that little jazz lure. That's killing it today. Five fish, I've dropped plenty more cause, cause, cause this. Oh my God. Well guys, that's that quick little session done for me. I was gonna walk upstream a little bit further, but that's sort of taken away all my thoughts, considering I can hardly wind. So, um, in the end of the video, then my conclusion is, you fish these jazz lures from All Goods Outfitters Launceston, they are killer. Like, I got five fish on mine, I dropped about five, ten. Um, all on that little hard body there, that little jazz lure from all outfitters on so And the other thing, if you do get out there and your reel is, well, not in a good state, I'll say, you can catch fish. It's dodgy, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And if you only have one reel and you drove all the way out here to wherever you're going, you'd rather give it a crack than just drive home. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna hop in the car. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo!